Here I go again to remove the timing chain, the oil pump and the distributor because I can't get the distributor, the oil pump and the timing marks to align and be able to start the truck. Like it has started, but there was like a, it ran like a bag of ass. I did get it to start one time and it ran great but it only lasted a day and then it like fell out of timing again. So I ended up replacing this shaft, which is the shaft that goes to the oil pump and the distributor. And when I did that, it did start up and that's when it ran good for one day. But then it fell out of timing. So I figured that this gear, which goes on the crank, goes like this on the crank. I figured that this was the issue. So I ended up buying this and had to take everything apart again. And uh, now it's still doing it. So I'm thinking that it's because I have an aftermarket timing chain that I can't get it lined up right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna remove all this, but first I'm gonna set, set the timing right so that everything is right from the get-go. All right, you're gonna need you're gonna need a twenty seven millimeter. That's what this is. So and it really doesn't matter which way you turn it. As long as you're on the compression side, on the compression stroke, or top dead side. How you know that it's on the compression stroke is that these valves, these two valves, will be open. I mean, closed. Like, I can't see this shit. Not to go on again. I should have bought that book. All right, there we go. All right, so timing set. The notch for the cam gear goes in the middle of the valve train. So that hose right there is a U. It loops back into it and from here to here. That thing is such a pain to put back and get out. Once all this is back together. What I like to do is undo this one, the one on this side 
the one on the left hand side as you're looking at it and back it off of the hole of the connector there and then leave that one on and when I pull all of this out it'll come with it and I also undo this one for this hose and undo it and it stays here uh, I have taken this out here before but then you gotta seal it with a handle around it it's just, just it's too much of a pain so like I'll just take it out here and undo that one there and then you have to undo uh, these two bolts that hold the timing cover but these are also for the alternator and this bolt right here you also have that 10 millimeter right there that goes from the head to the timing cover that 10 millimeter right there that 10 millimeter right there and that 10 millimeter right there now your head gasket does come around here right what i did was because that doesn't hold any coolant what i did was i cut that off because i've taken the shit off on and off so many times that it's quite sickening already and then i just put honda bond on the top of the valve on the top of the um timing cover and i set it back in here i haven't had any leaks it's just oil it would only be oil from the timing and this is what i was telling you guys about the timing you gotta make sure that that notch right there is in the middle of the valve train right here and that dot is to the right or at three o'clock kind of sort of maybe. but this chain that sprocket and the crank sprocket at the bottom i bought all brand new from nissan i'll show you guys all that in the part numbers oh yeah this uh crank pulley has to come out too like i said that's a 27 millimeter and what i i mean i'm honestly i've taken it out so much again i've taken it out so much that Mine's is probably not as difficult as yours would be, but I use my, my, uh, I've used an air gun, air impact gun to get it out the first time. And now I just use my, uh, Milwaukee half inch impact gun. All right, well, that's the timing mark you're supposed to be at that. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. It's the second one that you gotta be on. Yeah, that's good. All right, so that should be there which would put that there, up and down, and put this, can you see that? It's a dot right there. Focus. Oh, yes. Yeah, you can barely, you can almost see it there. It's a dot right there. But when we replace the chain, you'll have a colored link here and one on the bottom. All right, so this 27 millimeter socket is a uh, short. I got this from a kit from Harbor Freight a while back. And they're impact sockets in there. They come like this blue holder. Yeah. Just happened have the one that I needed for this and I didn't even buy it for this and it's short so my gun is able to fit in there to use space. Can 
releasing, you fuck. That's the crank port. So, um, again, your pulley might be stuck on here. You feel like doing this for like the fifth or sixth time that I've told you guys so many times. It'll come up. One on one side, on the other side, you can start to push it forward. Come loose. Alright, you don't have to undo these. None of that crap. Like, you undo these and it separates this thing. I don't know why you would need to do that. Okay. So. I think there's only two bolts on the bottom. I really think it's only two bolts on the bottom. So it's these three bolts, three 10 millimeter bolts, they're tiny. And now, the oil, I mean the oil pump, which is, Okay, so this is the oil pump. And again, I only got two bolts in it holding it because, well, take a while, guess. <sighs> okay, so oil pump comes out. Let's go over here. And then, uh, this is the shaft. She usually comes right out with her hair right there. That's the new shaft. All right, see, and the oil pan bolts are here, here, and here. What? She's ready to come out. All right. So she is ready to come out. So. them up. They actually took my call. But it yeah. It is twenty four. In the service manual I 
see that it's set to, I guess, do something like that. Here. That motherfucker's on there. That bolt and that releases the cam gear, which loosens the chain. Okay, so that's how you remove the timing chain on a KA24E. If you have any questions, uh, post them down below. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you share this video, uh, like, and uh, like I said, comment, let me know if there's anything that you have a question about. The next one should be up soon or following Monday. Thanks a lot. and. Uh, Keep on trucking.